Hey, what's up, YouTube? Um, so I'm gonna be making a sheet metal bending break today. And I'm sorry if I sound really eager and excited right now, and I'm sorry if, if there's a clickbait title, but I'm just really, I think it's gonna be one of the most clever things I've ever done. I have an idea in my head right now, and this is gonna be really brilliant, I think. And as Jeremy Clarkson would say, my genius knows no bounds. As my genius is, it's almost frightening. And not only is it just going to be a sheet metal bending break, it's going to be able to do a radius bends as well. Three different types of radius bends. And all these materials here, there's not hardly any materials at all. This is it. And my total was just over $50. But 30 of those dollars was on this piece of oak. And you could have also, you could have done it with a some scrap wood, which I should have done because I have a whole pile of scrap wood over there. But I got this nice oak instead, and I wanted oak. You'll see why, because it's a little stronger. And um, this is also not necessary, so you could have saved 10 bucks there as well. So you'll really only need some screws, some hinges, and this piece of wood here. And you gotta have, actually, you gotta have a workbench. It's part of the end product will be my workbench, but I think most people will have a workbench, right? Okay, so just stay with me and um, you'll see at the end how it all works. So here is the finished product. Yeah, that's all that's all it took to build this. It was really simple, really fast. So it uses the workbench as part of the tool itself. I've got these handles here that I made. This thread right in. The idea is that um, you can un unthread them, take them out, and that'll make this tool a lot easier to store away. Or I'll just leave it attached to my workbench, but instead of these sticking out, they'll be shoved under there, and that way I won't jab myself when I'm trying to walk around it. So, um, the cool thing though of, the, of this design is this piece here. This is the brilliant part. Because, check it out, it's got four different profiles in here for the, the bend radius that you want. No radius at all, just a 90 degree bend. Half an inch, I think that's three eighths and one quarter. Yes, exactly. I didn't use the one eighth round over bit because that's so small. Whilst I don't think that would have uh, been much difference than straight end degree bend. So you would put your work piece in here, then sandwich it between the workbench and this with a pair of clamps on either end, and then you would just fold it up. Let's give it a try, huh? Okay, I got some scrap metal pieces here. 
This is 18 gauge. This is 22 gauge. And this is 16 gauge. So I thought first we would try the 22 gauge and just a classic straight bend here. Straight 90 degree angle bend. All right, so let's see how this works. Let's So the reason why I went with the O over other materials was that it wouldn't flex as much and you can get more clamping pressure down on your piece. Poplar would have been good too, a lot cheaper and just as strong, but they didn't have that size. Okay, let's give it a shot. So not the sharpest, cleanest bend. I could see it wanted to move a little bit like this. So I need to tighten down the clamps maybe or get some bigger clamps. Let's try another one. This will be even thicker, which means it's gonna be even more of a force trying to move it around. I guess, you know, you can move this whichever way you want it to. You know, this setup is a lot, a lot more flexible than some other ones. You can figure it any which way you want. You don't have to use wood here. You can make some out of metal. And, you know, metal pipe and metal tube both together. Okay. This is 18 gauge. That's nice. Not exactly um, 90 degrees. I was wondering if it was going to run into that problem because they say you have to go just a little bit past 90 degrees. And I can't do that with this design. I'm happy with it. I think that's going to help me a lot with what I need to do. Now, let's try the 18 gauge. And, um, this is a small little piece, I'm just going to bend it like this, but we'll see what happens. I didn't design this tool to work on metal this thick, but well, let's check it out. Should we go with the half inch round over? I think so. It'll be a little easier too, I think. So I'm just kind of lining it up, you know, the edge of this right into that point where all the corners meet. It's definitely not as uh, fast as a real dedicated sheet metal break. As far as um, setting all the clamps. Okay, let's give it a go. Yeah, that wasn't that bad. It was a lot smaller of a piece. But felt pretty good. All right, if I really needed like a real sharp nine degree band, like perfectly sharp nine degree band, it'd be pretty easy just to grab some angle iron and, you know, clamp it down like this. 
Now I'd need to make this, I need to modify it a little bit to get um, a clamp on there because it would, it's kind of hard to get a clamp on a, a peak like this. Let me just quickly show you why I'm building this tool and what I'm going to need it for. So this is a 1990 Miata that has had the body cut off of it. And if you don't follow this YouTube channel, which you should, but if you don't, then you would know already that what I'm doing is I'm going to use this as a chassis for a 1967 Volkswagen Type 3 Squareback. And the first thing I'm going to have to do is build custom rocker panels. And they won't be the profile of the VW exactly, and they won't be the profile of this Miata either, of course. And they'll be somewhere in between the two so that they can meet together right at this pinch seam here. So I can't really get that, sh uh, I can't really get that piece off the shelf. So I'll have to custom make it. And that tool I just made will be uh, come in handy for sure. It'll make that job a lot easier. And I've been watching a ton of YouTube videos and reading a lot of things on the internet about metal forming and metal shaping recently. And I've learned that I really know nothing about it. That's what I've learned. Alright, thanks for watching. Um, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And if you didn't like this video, then go to hell. And alright, take care guys. Peace.